Welcome to this week's legislative report. On Thursday, an amendment was offered to LB 1067, the bill to repeal inheritance taxes. The amendment would decrease the percentage of inheritance taxes paid by aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, and unrelated beneficiaries to 6%. Replacement revenue would be provided in the form of increases to the amount counties collect in documentary stamp taxes and an increased commission paid to counties for the collection of motor vehicle sales taxes that exceed $6,000 per month. A different version of LB 1067 that included jail reimbursement had been debated in late February, but thanks to your efforts, it has not appeared on the agenda since then. At that time, there were not enough senators committed to supporting the bill as written to be able to invoke cloture. Speaker Arch has said that he will not put LB 1067 on the agenda again until the introducers can show that they have the 33 votes necessary to invoke cloture or have an agreement with NACO. At this point, no agreement has been reached. Two interim study resolutions have been introduced to further examine inheritance taxes and replacement revenue this summer. The first bill in Governor Pillen's property tax package was debated for four hours on Wednesday before Revenue Committee Chair Lou Ann Linehan asked for a pause in debate to work on amendments and technical issues. As written, LB 388 would place hard caps on county tax askings, increase the sales tax rate, and eliminate several sales tax exemptions. The second bill in the package was heard by the Education Committee and has not yet been advanced to the full body for debate. It would change the refundable income tax credit to a front-loaded line item on property tax statements. Supporters of the package said that not voting for LB 388 is effectively voting for a tax increase due to the impact of valuation increases. They spoke about property owners selling their homes or leaving the state due to high property taxes and the need to rebalance the three-legged stool of property, income, and sales taxes. Opponents said that the proposal is a tax shift rather than a reduction, and that because sales taxes are regressive, they would disproportionately affect taxpayers with lower and middle incomes. LB 388 is the first item on the agenda when the legislature reconvenes on Tuesday morning. Amendments have been filed to impose a tax on luxury items, strike a sales tax exemption on lottery tickets, create a sales tax exemption on diapers, and other issues.